So I guess starting with the first half then an early first goal for the visitors and it made it hard for us to get back in after that, didn't it? Yeah, we started slow. Uh, we looked lethargic for whatever reason. You know, we've, we've trained well this week at good tempo and the, the build up to the game was good. Um, the lads had a 20 minute shape game against first team yesterday, so they, they played at good intensity and you just want them to carry that intensity into, into our game on Saturday. But first 20, 25 minutes, we, we didn't really didn't get started, didn't turn up, we were a goal down. Um, Good goal from their point of view, sloppy from our point of view, and then, and then from half an hour we probably finished the second, the first half strongest. We got into a, we got some good entries into the final third. We got our two v ones out wide, which was, it, it was always going to be where the space was because they played with a diamond, and our outlet was always going to be our wide, you know, our wide strikers. And then, and then can we support fast and, and overload their fullback? And we started doing that quite a lot at the, at the end of the first half. And unlucky not to score really um, and then you want you want them to build on that we started the second half okay you want you want them to build and then we have that five minute period again where the lads crumbled really and um, they need to show a lot more mental strength than that and stand up and be counted we conceded the second and then before you know it we were four down in, in the space of five ten minutes and you know that, that can't keep keep happening We've done that a couple of times at home now. You know, we getting some results away from home, but we play here at the minute, and I don't know what it is. The lads, they're not dealing with the pressure of, of going a goal behind very well, and uh, you know, I think they need to be braver to get on the ball more and, and show a bit more courage. Because today I was really disappointed in, in in the courage to get on the ball. I thought I thought there was quite a few of them hiding out there really, and. At the end of the game, Mansfield are a big physical team. We know what to expect. They're decent, but you've got to compete. And if you compete against Mansfield and match their work rate, you, you, you probably beat them, you know, and you create your chances. But we, we got bullied a little bit, and, and, and that's that's concerning because that, I've said that I think two times now this season in the first four or five games. So it's it's a bit of a concern. So uh, we need to dust ourselves down and train hard all week. And football is always good because it gives you another opportunity to, to put things right. But um, you know we need to learn from our learn from our errors and, and progress and build on them. You mentioned the mental strength there as well. Is that going to come with experience as the season goes on from these lads? Um, yeah, you'd like you'd like to think so, but I mean you'd like to think that playing at this type of level, you, you'd have you'd have some sort of. Um, Courage and, and mental toughness to, to roll your sleeves up and, and grind things out and be a bit more robust as a team. You know, you need leaders to be a bit more robust and, and maybe maybe sit in a in a bit of a, a mid block and try and not get played through. Um, but, but we didn't really have that. And then in possession, we 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 were giving the ball away cheap on turnovers. We weren't keeping that first pass enough, and we were trying to force force short forward passes from defence into the mid, into the middle third and they kept getting cut out so then you're looking for then you're looking for your players to make better decisions. Well shall we beat that press, you know, can we clip it over that press? And we kept trying to play through and, and we weren't really passing with any pass appreciation. It was almost like we were passing to teammates and just to get rid of the ball. And you know, we we're, we're better than that. We 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 prepare better than that all week. We train quite well all week and it's disappointing that we, we couldn't take it into the match today. And going on to the trainers, well, you mentioned they got an experience with the first team. How how did they find that? It was really good. Um, the lads were buzzing because it's the first time they've, they've trained up here with the first team, and it was it was good. Um, the first team were good to good to see the youth team faces. Uh, the staff were brilliant with them, and like I say, it was really good, really good tempo. Maybe it maybe it took a bit out of their legs a little bit for the first twenty, but. You know, it was uh, it, it's it's great for them, good experience, and it will only um, help them improve. Alex Hall is obviously isolating with COVID at the minute, so that's why he wasn't involved. But what what was the problem with Owen Scattergood today? Owen's got a um, Owen's fractured a bone in his foot, so I think he's struggling a bit. So he's going to be probably at least a month to six weeks, I'd say. Yeah. And it looks like another forward could be out with Tavs as well, coming off in the second yeah, half. It's disappointing because Tavs was, he was just starting to get in, into the game and one of our better players. And 
it's disappointing, you know, it looks like his shoulders popped again. It happened last year and just feel for feel feel for him, you know, and same with um Tom Henson, he's got a hamstring hamstring injury, ha having come back from an ankle injury, so it's it, the the injuries are building up a little bit and none of them are real quick fix ones, so it's gonna be a a few of them have a spell on the sidelines which is disappointing but you know it's we'll just look after them and get them back as, as safe and quick as we can.